In this segment, I'm going to briefly explain how the mobile pass works. When I was trying to understand how Interrail works and how to use the mobile pass, I could not get any YouTuber who had uh, videos on how to use the mobile pass. So maybe this will be of help for you who is planning a future Europe trip. So basically, I'm going to first uh, the first thing you're supposed to do is download the app called rail planner it's on ios and uh, google play store when you open the app rail planner assuming you have already paid for your pass you will get an email whereby it's a six uh, digit letters or code you'll come and uh, to this place written my pass and you'll upload the code and all your details your passport number i think so and uh, from there you are good to go so how do you use the pass so assuming you're planning your first trip and i'll use my town as a reference you come to the planner on your bottom left from here the planner you come to you type in your destination or rather you are where you are going from which is Boulogneville, my town, and your destination, which is Lille. Now, if I want to go to Lille, I have several options today, which is uh, the first one is at 1303, the second one at 1504, and moving on. So, what you do, you come and click on your desired journey. For instance, the one in 1303, it has a con uh, connection to a different town called the Fontinet. If you are not comfortable with that, you can just come and pick a direct train, which is at 1807. And from here, you come on your bottom right corner where you save journey. After saving your journey, you can see your journey in my trip. If you come here to my trip, for me, I had named my trip Europe trip. So when you click on the Europe trip, you'll find your journey down below Boulogneville to Lille Europe. So what you supposed to do is just to click on this uh, QR like um, button and it will turn blue. For me, I cannot do it because I've already finished my Europe tour and I'm already back at home. But basically what it will generate is something like this, whatever you're seeing in blue here. So after clicking that way, you come to my pass so assuming you are in the train already on your way to your destination and maybe the train controllers or the train conductors uh, want to see your ticket you come here down below it's written show ticket so basically you click on show ticket the blue icon and it will uh, ask you for your uh, for your code for your password you'll put your password to protect your details for me i'll put mine and uh, it will generate a qr code for now it cannot because i've already finished my travel day so it will have a qr code and the railway conductor will just scan it and you're good to go so that's how simple the mobile pass works and uh, what else do i need to share maybe uh something you need to know is um uh, connecting trips for instance if uh, if you want to save on cost of seat reservation if you do not want to reserve seats the best thing is to find a way of connecting trips for instance the first one is the first train here at 1303 uh, it, it, it connects to this town called the Fontinet and from there you wait for 37 minutes for your next train so if you're not in a rush and you you want to explore more of different towns and have that landscape uh, views it's something to consider and uh, yeah so basically that's it on how the mobile pass works and uh, for you is planning a future trip in europe i wish you all the best